Walking in a winter wonderland. Walking. Now, not everyone lives in Southern California like my parents do. So, we gotta make do with what we have. This is my winter dormancy section. Now, how do I choose which plants go into dormancy and which plants go into my uh, grow tent? It has to do with the size and the maturity of the plant. So a plant like this, that got pretty decently sized thick during the summer, um, I'm not going to want to put in the grow tent because it's going to start growing skinny again. Whereas now it's starting to fattening up. Now this isn't the best example because actually this plant is a very Modicana Peruvianus. A couple people have it that I've sent to, but those are the only only people I know of that have this plant. Pretty unique. Um, you'll see it's not all green on the top. Still varied. It just has more green than yellow. It's probably like 60-40 or 65-35, which is perfect for California. Because what we want is we want this plant to grow until it flowers. Then I'll be able to put this variegated DNA into um, my other plants and get some sick hybrids. So yeah, I'll be cutting this one actually um, as winter comes to an end, probably a month or two early. Cut it about right here, I'm thinking. Now you want to cut it in a place that's going to give you good pups. And good pups with this plant and with almost all berries are areas that are touching both green and yellow because then you're going to get a marbled plant. If it comes out of a just green area, like let's say I got a pup from here, chances are it's going to be almost all green. And I have one of those. As an example, right here. Now actually underneath the soil, there's a half inch of very, but the rest of it, you can see it's starting to get a little different color um, up top. But this is what they can look like if they come out of an all green area. So you want the pups to come out of a marbled area. So I'll probably cut it like right here at a downward angle. Um, that's a good 13, 14, 15 inches, maybe a little bit lower. And then I will be rooting it, growing it out here during the summer, and then sending it down to SoCal so it can get real big. Um, and eventually send back up here because they actually flower better up here than they do down there. Um, this star I had Chuku's flowered probably a 15 flowers over two years. Um, I have some Star Ayachuku times Casey um, seeds, and I also have Star Ayachuku times uh, Juano Coenzi boss seeds. Um, and last year I have uh, uh, some more seeds from that plant. And a couple sun goddesses on the end. Tig times Len, no, um, Psycho times Tig times Len. Haven't been super blown away by this plant if it doesn't grow out into something pretty. I'll probably just let these pups grow and throw them in as a freebie with a sale. 90% of my plants are down in California. Um, I got 10, I got, I have a, a 10 foot, foot Sarah, Sarah Blue along with like 50 other really nice clones that are a lot bigger than these. These are just the ones that I'm kind of like preparing to go to Cali and deciding whether they make the cut. Um, this one will definitely be going down there. This is a land-raised Pacanoy from Juarez in Peru. Um, it was collected, it's not a seed, it's, it was an actual plant collected 
right outside of the town of Juarez by Jelly Button. And it's a nice plant. Here's another uh, straight out of Peru. This one was seed grown. This is a JNG 63, Death Falls Pacanoy, time, um, OP, JNG 64. Now that 64 area has to do with what part of the country he got the plant in. And from what I've told, the 64 has a lot of blue Perus. So to me, this looks like uh, Death Falls Pacanoy times Blue Peru, but it's open pollinated, so can never be sure. Next to that, we got a Kenny, Pacanoy Kenny. Don't know too much about this one. Just that um, it's in a lot of people's collections, or a fair amount. And it's kind of just like your common on PC Pacanoy. I forget how I got this one. Next to that, we have a King Henry. I bought this as a like a bundle, another non PC Pacanoy. A little bit less classic of a look, a little more unique. I like this one. Up here, we got an Acaro DNA, possible Peruse Co., but it looks like the. Uh, well, we know that the mother was a Peru since it's a Caro DNA. But possible Peru's Co. regardless, gorgeous, gorgeous plant. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to be cutting and giving away or selling one of these pups because it's just not growing as fast as it should be. This is like a, two years of growth. Um, with one pup, I think it would grow a lot faster. We got a Dr. Funkenstein here. This Looks like ne next year this is the area that's really going to be taken off, so if you can imagine, I expect it to be kind of like out to here by next year. And then each one of these little bumps can also grow upwards. So this will be a very interesting plant next year. We got a very da Costa. So da Costa is a New Zealand uh, Pacanoy. This is a variegated version of it. Well, what else we got? Bart times old man. This one will be going down to Cali. Beautiful short spine Peru. Who knows, we may even get a name someday if it grows big enough. Scopulacola Enoch. And what you'll notice is none of these are attiliolated. Or, I don't know how to pronounce that, but because they're out here in the garage. The garage is just getting barely any direct light. And it's between 25 at the coldest and probably 55, 60 at the warmest. And it's pretty rare it gets that warm. So it's a perfect dormancy area. Yellow submarine on a beat up PC, but a big one. Um, neon, been having trouble getting this neon to put out some more green, hopefully it does next season. We got a SS01, I do a bug boomer to, to get a legit SS01. We got an OTB Bridgesy, Old Town Bridgesy, also known as Old Thorny Bastard. Probably the pride and jewel of the plants out here, the KR04. The 04 is supposed to stand for 4% of the active alkaloid, which would be mescaline in these. In this plant medicine, recently legalized where I live. Over here we have a Tom's Jewels Giant that has provenance back to sacred succulents. So if you're buying a Tom's Jewels Giant, there's a lot of Jewels Giant, but if you're buying a Tom's Jewels Giant, um, it seems that there's multiple plants being sold as Tom's Jewels Giant. You want to get provenance. The reason for that is the analysis goes from completely bunk to fire. So that tells me they're different plants, most likely, um, that the people had taken. This one will always be fire. Hutchinson 1597. Literally took a year to pup. And then this was last year's growth. So slow growth. 
gonna put it in a bigger pot and hoping that it uh, doubles or triples in size. I need to get this one down to Cali too because this is a classic, uh, classic clone, the Hutchison 1597. Um, and Cali's my kind of like my clone collection. Um, super cool hybrid, Brian's Blue Sky JS444 times Ogin. Ogin Bode Day Day. And you can tell I thought it was a, a nice one because I grafted it to this giant PC. And when I grafted it, it was about this tall. So yeah, another one I'm hoping next summer um, doubles in size. And get that one down to Cali. I don't have unlimited room in Cali, so really probably have room for another 10 plants down there to be honest, but I don't even think I have 10 plants up here that I'd want to send down there. This one I do. Tig. Now you've all seen Tig, if you're into Trichocereus, you've all seen Tig in the hybrids. This is the actual clone. It comes from Australia to Bridgesy. And look how cool those ribs look. The bottom is frost damage. If you're wondering, what the hell is all that black stuff? No, it's not mold. It's rock hard. It's frost damage. So, just ugly, but not gonna hurt the plant. And it's a pretty big, this first size, hold on. Pretty big plant, just for size, probably uh, 14 inches from what's under the soil to what's top. Something I hope that just goes nuts for me this summer and then I send it down to Cali and get five pups. This is the, These are the things I hope for. Anyways, that's about it. I think I showed my, oh, uh, Yellow Submarine, um, not Times, Yellow Submarine. It was originally known as a Mallorca Variegated Pachinoi. This has put off two pups for me, and they were both completely yellow, just BS pups, because they couldn't grow because they were yellow. I never saw green. Check this out, though. Green here. I just saw this while making the video. Green there. So we may have some action on this. It's grafted to a big, or not that big, but grafted to a sun goddess. So it should be getting pump. Look at that. Woo, Enoch. Anyways, I could look at these plants all day. Love you guys, I appreciate you subbing. Um, PC, this is what you're going to see most commonly in Southern California and Arizona and Texas. Um, you don't want to pay a lot for these. You can get these for $10. Um, nah, you can get these for really cheap. What I plan to do is let this grow to about here. Then I'm going to cut it and graft something real special to the top of that. Because this is new growth, so the scion is going to be nice and soft, not all woody like down here. And it's going to then have this, it has a massive root system. And all of this plant is going to be able to suck up UV and put that power into the graft. That's my master plan. I need to get something special and not too big to graft on top of here. But that's probably going to be happening next summer. Last but not least, from Miss Plant, we have a landfill times Bridges E to the third power. This was a one inch, one inch tall seed grown about a year and a half ago. Anyways, let you guys go. Happy holidays. Um, I always say I let you guys go and then I don't. So last but not least, the plants that are rooting. So I always end up buying plants during the winter that I shouldn't or late in the season. This one's actually going to be going out to the garage for dormancy. This is a shaman's garden. Um, it's, it showed its first root, I would say, about a month ago, a month and a half ago. And I've been watering it, letting it dry, watering it, letting it dry. And as you can tell, this window gets a lot of sun. So um, 
they don't ateliolate if they're in this window and I, and I keep the house pretty cool. But this one has enough roots to where it's gonna go out in the garage for the end of the winter, probably in about a week once the last watering dries. And uh, then I'll 